Google's anti-gravity and cursor both promise to transform software development through AI-driven coding, but they approach the mission differently. Anti-gravity positions itself as an autonomous agent platform designed for users who want to assign high-level objectives and let software handle execution. Meanwhile, Cursor focuses on everyday programmers seeking precise AI assistance within existing workflows, offering inline suggestions, context-aware chat, and scaffolding tools. Both derive from VS Code, yet anti-gravity provides a manager interface orchestrating multiple agents across editor, terminal, and browser while Cursor relies on parallel agents using Git work trees, embedded testing, and voice support. Performance tests show anti-gravity completing tasks faster. TechRadar recorded a 42-second result versus Cursor's 68 seconds, but speed doesn't guarantee efficiency. Developers report Cursor requires less rework and fewer correction cycles. Context management also distinguishes the two. Cursor deeply indexes local repositories, whereas anti-gravity introduces MCP, knowledge items, browser context, and Gemini 3's large token window, enabling autonomous reference gathering from live documentation, logs, and schemas. Workflow comparisons reveal trade-offs. Anti-gravity independently generates plans, routes, forms, and even migrations, though it occasionally misjudges framework configurations or invents utilities. Cursor asks clarifying questions, respects repository conventions, and applies targeted edits, making it feel safer for teams prioritizing stability. Autonomy defines anti-gravity's appeal, while Cursor prioritizes control and predictability. But let me tell you, let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about those pricing models. Anti-gravity is currently free, but constrains usage with strict quotas that refresh every five hours, sometimes exhausted after a single intensive query. Cursor advertises a $20 monthly plan, yet heavy usage often doubles or triples costs due to credit consumption, leading to community frustration over shifting pricing structures. Reliability issues differ. Anti-gravity users report login failures, regional restrictions, stuck onboarding screens, model overload, and formal warnings against storing sensitive data because of potential security risks. Cursor maintains steadier functionality, but faces criticism over diminished value as credits disappear faster than before. Still, both support multiple frontier models, avoiding vendor lock-in. Ecosystem integration matters. Anti-gravity runs in the browser with limited extension access through OpenVSX and sign-in complications for workspace accounts. Cursor operates as a desktop application with full VS Code Marketplace compatibility and seamless GitHub repo usage. Benchmarks favor anti-gravity, but practical development favors Cursor's consistency. Ultimately, neither tool replaces human supervision, yet both illustrate how AI can reshape development workflows without eliminating engineering judgment. For now, choosing between them depends on tolerance for instability, cost unpredictability, desired autonomy levels, and whether experimentation or dependable daily performance matters most within evolving AI-assisted software development landscapes. Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. 
For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation. I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research. Except, instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. Alright, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.